Hello friends, uh, welcome to another educational video. Today we are talking about Biosecurity Act 2015, Section 60 and Section 61. Uh, a note here is th that all these acts are Commonwealth Acts um, and if there is any discrepancy or uh, clash between um, uh, State and Commonwealth Acts, uh, Commonwealth Acts always prevail. So with that, uh, we're going to uh, not read the whole order uh, or the whole section 1661, but we'll summarize it in the end. Needless to say, I will include the links to these. So, a Biosecurity Act 2015 section 60 says that following officers may impose a human biosecurity control order on an individual, a chief human biosecurity officer, a human biosecurity officer, a biosecurity officer. The second point here is that the human, a human biosecurity control order may be imposed on an individual only if the officer is satisfied that the individual has one or more signs or symptoms of a listed human disease or the individual has been exposed to a listed human disease or another individual who has one or more signs or symptoms of a listed human disease or the individual that has failed to comply with an entry requirements in subsection 44 parenthesis 6 in relation to a listed human listed human disease we'll leave that one there for now we'll summarize it a bit later uh, we'll move straight on to the biosecurity act uh, 2015 section 61 so it's the next one again these are commonwealth acts and uh, the content of a human biosecurity control order that may be issued to someone um, a human biosecurity control order that is in force in relation to an individual must specify the following the grounds in subsection 60 parenthesis 2 under which the order is imposed on the individual the listed human disease in relation to which the order is imposed on the individual any signs or symptoms of the listed human disease, the prescribed contact information provided by the individual under the section 69 or 70, um, as the case requires, a unique identifier for the order. And the other, or another um, important detail here is that the uh, human biosecurity control order must also contain details of a chief human biosecurity officer who can be contacted for information and support in relation to the order that had just been issued by a chief human biosecurity officer or just biosecurity officer so although it may not specifically mention uh, certain um, keywords uh, the Australian Biosecurity Act Section 60 uh, seems to be saying that no person other than a human biosecurity officer under the authority of the biosecurity control order can force you to submit to biosecurity measures, again, such as potentially vaccination, coerced to uh, or forced to do a PCR test, Quarantine, including social distancing, mask wearing. The section 61 seems to be telling us that there are very strict conditions under which a biosecurity control order may be issued, including the following. The grounds under which it can be issued and by whom. The listed human disease. The symptoms. You must be symptomatic. The history of your contact with infected people and all enforcements have rights of review. Again, I will let you decide how that affects your day-to-day -day life and what you're being asked to do. Um, going back to the section 60, the very first uh, point there says the following officers may impose a human biosecurity control order on an individual and that's a chief human biosecurity officer or human biosecurity officer or biosecurity officer so um next time you ask them if they're any one of those otherwise they are not conforming to this act
Again, this is purely educational video. I hope you are well. You stay well. We're keeping in touch. We're keeping safe. And we will speak again soon.